what am I sharing today? Grocery hauls, meal plan, and a dinner. Let me show you what's on the menu for this week. This week we are having stew, chicken, alfredo, pasta bake. This is new to us, but it looks fantastic. It's just a dump and go kind of bake. Crock pot cube steak, kung pao chicken, easy baked chicken, and crispy cheddar chicken. I will have all of these recipes linked below. I decided to try H-E-B 100%. I cut out Walmart this week. I wanted to compare prices between the two stores. I didn't see a huge difference between the two, but I did see that each one has a different selection in foods. So I am really glad that I have both stores to hop between. Let me show you my H-E-B grocery haul. But I got some small curd low-fat cottage cheese, a zero sugar ready whip, 2% milk. I have some shredded cheeses. This one's a Parmesan. And then H-E-B has their brand of fat-free mozzarella and fat-free cheddar cheese. Two jars of Alfredo. This is the H-E-B brand of Ritz crackers. Some Lipton onion soup mix. Minced ginger. Peanut butter. A small Catalina dressing. H-E-B has less sodium chicken broth. I was happy to see that. A can of mushrooms. Some pasta. I have a little bag of sugar. I thought this was bigger, but that's okay. We will use it. I got some pineapple tidbits. I figured these would taste really good in the cottage cheese. Three of the 26 grams of protein by Fairlife. These are so good. It's just like drinking chocolate milk. Some baked barbecue chips. I have three cans of cream of mushroom soup, which is H-E-B brand. Also their brand is cream of chicken. And also their brand is some Italian seasoning. Me and Justin like this for our toothpaste. Tums, I love this stuff. If you get dry lips, this is excellent to use on dry lips. And we like the Neosporin. It's the cream and not the ointment. And I found that at H-E-B too. As always, I have to pick up bulk items and meats from Sam's Club. So I'm going to share that with you right now. Spicy Crunch Roll Sushi from Sam's Club. Timothy and Jason absolutely love this stuff. I got some blueberries. I needed a little bit of steak. This pack was $10.25. I got two packs of chicken, some grapes, a big thing of toilet paper, strawberries, and raspberries. And then at Walmart, I got some pretzels, brownie bites, mozzarella cheese, and then a solid mozzarella cheese ball, some English muffins, pickles, pizza sauce, pepperoni, an English cucumber, some fresh basil, marshmallows, tomato, a couple bags of melting chocolate. This is the dark chocolate by Giardelli, and then some bananas. Tonight's dinner, I am going to make the easy baked chicken. I have made this on my channel before, but my goodness, it's been a while since I've made it. I don't know why, because it is absolutely delicious. I've had our chicken in a brine, and it is about four to five cups of lukewarm water with a fourth cup of kosher salt. That has been soaking all day long. I'm gonna pat this dry and then I'm going to put a rub on it and I'll show you how to put the rub together right now. For the rub, you need one tablespoon of olive oil, teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a half a teaspoon of oregano. I'm gonna stir this together and get it on that chicken. This chicken is gonna go in the oven on 450 for 20 to 30 minutes. But first, I'm gonna make a side. So we're gonna put this here. I have a bag of frozen cauliflower. I've decided to roast these. And I also have a little bit of carrots that need ate up. So I'm gonna roast these with the cauliflower. For seasoning, I'm gonna use this wood-fired garlic. You can find this at Sam's Club. And on the stove, I am cooking up some rice a -roni. This is the cheddar broccoli. This is one of Jason's favorite rice a We haven't had it in years. <laughs> it's really super easy to make. And if you're following Weight Watchers, for one ounce, it is five points. 
This is what dinner looks like. We have had this chicken before. It is absolutely delicious. I highly recommend it. And the recipe is linked below. For my second week of meal plans, every single meal that I am making is going into three different videos, which will be up next week. So make sure you're watching for it because my goodness, have I got some amazing meals coming out. This week, my grocery haul is coming from Walmart. We're starting off with some strawberries. I have fresh basil and avocado a couple of onions, red pepper, those have seen better days, potatoes, celery hearts, these have also seen better days. I gotta pick through that because there's one that's no good in here. A red onion, cauliflower, a little bag of baby carrots, some rolls, Wonder Bread, and hamburger buns, a couple of small bottles of orange juice, frozen corn, mixed vegetables, and peas. For seasonings, I got some garlic powder, minced onion, and some more Italian seasoning, buffalo wing sauce, sun-dried tomatoes, some ranch seasoning, artichoke hearts, mushrooms, pineapple chunks. This is salsa, spaghetti sauce, roasted garlic and herb. That sounds good. Three cans of sliced potatoes. I like to just have those on hand. Got a lot of cheeses here. <laughs> so I have provolone. I have a bigger bag of fat-free mozzarella. I didn't even know they sold this size of fat-free mozzarella. That's amazing. I put it in wrong and ended up with that, I guess. And then also a bigger size of regular mozzarella and then a smaller size of regular mozzarella. I don't know why. I have these two, I gotta check my order, but I do, they'll get used. Hatch green chilies, some green olives, this is pepperoncini, diced tomatoes, French style green beans, blue cheese dressing, regular green beans, I'm completely out of vegetables, can you tell? <laughs> and also some corn, blue cheese crumbles, and then Jason and Timothy love these for lunches, so I got three of these big burritos, and they are the Red Hot Beef. I have not been able to find these in quite a while, and these are one of my favorite Fiber One cookies, and they're the Oatmeal Raisin. Oh, so good. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend. <laughs> these are the Restaurant Style Lightly Salted Chips. Some Chex Mix, Cool Ranch Doritos, and then we have a Sweet Southern Heat barbecue chip. I needed some wax paper, some rubbing alcohol, downy softener, and for Cooper, I found these little peanut butter sandwich cookies. I think he's gonna really enjoy these. He loves peanut butter. I needed some meats from Sam's Club. Love buying my meats from Sam's Club. We buy it in bulk, put them in freezer bags, and store them in our freezer. I needed quite a few different styles of meats this week because of the recipes that I'm making, and Sam's Club always helps me out with that. We have Sam's Club and we have a little bit from Target too. So I found these. These are one of my favorite little snacky treats and I love to put no sugar whipped cream on the top of them. If you're following Weight Watchers, one chocolate muffin is five points. And then we have some plain non-fat Greek yogurt by Chobani. These were on sale five for five. And then we are gonna spoil Cooper with a little snack. And we got these, they're the Rachel Ray brand savory roasters and they're chicken. I needed a pork loin, a big bag of salad, Black Forest ham, about a two pound roast, $2.65 a pound, and then a pack of chicken. Needed some waters <laughs> and my hint water. Justin snuck these into the cart. Their little heart cake bites, aren't they adorable? They're so cute, they're in the bakery section of Sam's Club. And then Timothy, we got him some sushi and Jason, some sushi. So this one's for Jason, and then these two are for Timothy. Make sure that you have the bell turned on so you get notified when my videos come out. Here's my latest grocery haul and a playlist. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon.